Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb. Today I have a book review on What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is a standalone novel. This book review will be spoiler free and also if I look down or over I'm looking at my notebook where I have my ratings. Speaking of ratings, I rate my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading very soon, five to five, not so soon, one to five. With all that out of the way, I'm going to get into the plot. So basically this book is about Gwen Castle and it's summer starting and she's starting her job and she discovers that Cassidy Summers, also known as her biggest mistake ever, is also working on the island for the season. And she tries to avoid him, but fate keeps pushing them together. And basically, um, it says, Gwen spends a gorgeous rest of summer, struggling to resolve what she thought was true about her life, herself, and the people she loves with what really is. So this book I had really high expectations for because I love My Life Next Door. I think I read in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Or in 2000, no, was it 2012 maybe? 2012 or 2013? Thinking it was, yeah, it was 2012, I believe. Anyway, sorry for that ramble on. But that was one of my favorite books of that year that I read it. And I didn't hear the best things about this. I heard meh things, like average things. It wasn't as good as My Life Next Door, um, which set the bar very high. Um, but I wanted to read it because, you know, I did like My Life Next Door and I really liked Huntley Fitzpatrick's writing. Though I still do like her writing, this book wasn't my favorite, and I really have high hopes for the um, companion novel to my life next door, which I believe came out last month. I forget the name of it, though. So plot, I gave a 3 out of 5. This was an average plot. It wasn't too exciting, but it wasn't too boring. Just, like, this book, because it says Gwen's whole life is about to change, but really, I didn't find her whole life really changed too much. Like, a lot of it did, but some of it didn't even surround her own inner self. It was, like, the people connected to her which maybe is the point, but I just found this book to be average. Like, it wasn't too exciting. Um, yeah, it was basically the first 150 pages were just establishing that something bad had happened to her, and you don't know what happened, and you get flashbacks throughout the novel, but yeah, it just, I don't really know how to describe what I feel. Um, co care cover. Skipping ahead. Characters, I give a 3 to 5 as well. Gwen Castle, who is the main character, I really liked her character. I found her probably to be the best character out of the novel, which I was glad because it's in her point of view. And if I'm going to be following her point of view around, I want her to be a good character. But I found the rest of the characters were kind of lacking. Gwen was even the most like developed character, but she was by far my favorite. Um, I didn't really like the outcome of the end for Nick, Viv. Those were the two that I didn't really like the outcome for. Like I just, something changed in the middle of the book and it was just like, what? And like I kind of sensed it coming but I found the end of the book like the first half was very slow and then the end of the book just sped up really quick and all the characters like kind of came together and then the end was just upon us like it was just very fast near the end I didn't really feel satisfied with the conclusion for really any of the characters besides Gwen and I felt yeah Gwen was probably the only character that I really felt like you know had a ending that I was happy with. It's the same with Cassidy. Cover I give a 4 out of 5. Now the cover I think is beautiful. I love how they kept the stripes because My Life Next Door has the same kind of stripey pattern. Um, but I just find like it's not really a cringy cover for a teen book. It has these lovely purples. It makes you really think of a nice summer. It makes me really think of an August day. That's why I wanted to start it in August. I started at the beginning of September but close enough. Um, and then suspense I give a 3.5 out of 5. Now the suspense kept me going because I really wanted to know how her whole life was changed. Though I was a little bit let down by that, it was still pretty good for suspense where if like I really wanted to read it, some parts were a little drier than others, but for the most part it kept my interest. And overall I give it a 3 to 5. It's an average contemporary read. It was really nothing special, but it was still really good. Um, just wasn't the best I've ever read. Um, I have high hopes for the companion novel to my life next door. Just if you read my life next door, definitely lower the bar a bit for this book, but I think it's still good. It's just an average book to me. Um, I really had high hopes for it, but when I heard reviews that weren't too stellar from people that really loved My Life Next Door, I was a little concerned. But let alone the writing, Huntley Fitzpatrick knows how to write really well. I really love her writing style, so that made it good. Like, even if I hated the book, I really do like her writing, and it keeps me intrigued. So, yeah, this book was just average to me. Um, so that's my book review on What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys have read it, let's discuss in the comments. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.